everyone welcome back to our channel um so this week um our video is in georgia um last week you saw us in georgia we were on um jekyll island is that what yeah. it's called yeah really beautiful um we're loving georgia georgia has like blown us away i've never been to like coastal georgia before or really any georgia i guess no i've never been to georgia either. um but yeah it's super pretty there's so many like marshy areas and stuff it's really cool um, but this week, we kind of hit a lot of different places. We went up north a little bit to Savannah. And then we also went to Tybee Island, which is like a little bit of like a beach town right next to Savannah, like closer to the ocean. Um, but yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, what do you think about Savannah? Um, one of the things that we had talked about is when we're going to the East Coast of like how much history is in uh, the East Coast. And it was beautiful yeah. driving some down through those alleys with all those huge trees and the uh, really pretty brick buildings there were so many old houses and stuff it was really cool yeah um but we kind of just drove through savannah because i have been to savannah before and um it was a saturday whenever we drove through it and it was just so crazy busy so we're like yeah. let's just get to um tyvee island and we'll just kind of drive through savannah so that's what we did um but it was still fun what did you think about tybee i we had we didn't know if it like what type of beach town it was um, yeah so it was pretty touristy um there were some areas that were like not so touristy and those are the areas that we found um but it was pretty touristy more than i thought um but it wasn't wasn't like super crowded or anything mm -mm. the first place we went to was um tybee island beach pier and um it was super super windy my hair like is flying all over the place yeah. that's one of the reasons that we're doing this video right now because a lot of our video that we do is um oh probably gonna come in the shot um a lot of the video this week is really hard to hear because it's just so windy um so if you have trouble hearing us that's why and that's how we're explaining some stuff right now um what was i talking about oh the pier so yeah, the pier was really cool. Um, there was a ton of people at the beach, even though it was kind of chilly. Oh, that's what blew my mind. It was probably in the high 60s, low 70s. It, it was, was not in the low 70s. You think it was colder than that? Yeah, it was definitely in the high 50s, low 60s. Oh, I had on a sweater and I was cold. Oh yeah, and I even had my hoodie on too. People were like in their bathing suits, but anyways. Um, but it was really cute. And then after that, we went to a really cool restaurant called The Crab Shack. Oh. that I had um, just read on the internet was like one of the best places to visit on Tybee Island. And so we stopped there and it was so cool. It had to be on like two or three acres, right? Oh, it was it was massive. It was huge. Yeah, it was right in like in the marshy area, like in the inlets and stuff. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, here, this is it right here, Crab Shack. Okay, we got some crab soup. And a deviled crab. Um, but it was so cool and we had a ton of good food. Obviously there's a lot of crab. There was actually some alligators there. We got to pet some kitties. It was really it was really cool. If you go to Savannah or Tybee Island or even where we were staying, it took us like an hour to get to Tybee Island from where we were staying and it was like just that restaurant alone was totally worth it it was just such a cool atmosphere and yeah it was really fun do you remember how we showed up early before it even like was registered to open oh yeah it said it opened at like 11 30 or something and we showed up at like 11 15 and it was already packed it was so i think all the locals know to get there early i guess but anyways it was so good so yeah here's all that Hello to you. Did you go boy? Oh. You just have some money. Look at you. you just pet you. Oh, bless you. 
Okay guys, so after we went to Tybee Island, we were driving um, back home and we saw this really cool fort that we wanted to stop and see. It was called Fort Pulaski, 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 we don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll let Aaron explain what it is because he knows history. Um, if I remember correctly, it was built early, or like early 18... 60s 1850s mm -hmm. um and the main what it's known for is it was a big battle between the union and the confederate soldiers um at the very the mouth of the of the river the leading to savannah um yeah and so it was, that's just what it's known for is the big battle mm -hmm. yeah it was i mean man it was really cool yeah. i i really enjoy history stuff but not as much as aaron um and I like seeing stuff for a little bit, but then I get tired of like reading signs and stuff. Um, but this fort was just, it was really cool and everything was outdoors and it was just yeah. so, it was so massive that it, would, it was just, it was very interesting. If you go to that area, I honestly recommend seeing it. It took us like maybe two hours to oh, walk yeah. through the whole entire thing. And it was just really, really, really cool. And it had a lot of history and, um, Okay, so what did it look like after you went over the drawbridge and you went inside? It opened up to that parade ground uh, where it was like huge and all these like little uh, compartments were all around it facing into the middle of the fort. Um, there was a fig tree on one end. You're not explaining this very well. No, <laughs> maybe I should ask you. Okay, so you Jenny, pull up to the parking lot and you pull up to the parking lot and um, there is these big mounds on the outside and it takes you in this little sidewalk to the drawbridge. You go up through the drawbridge and then it opens up and it's like a, uh, would you say the whole entire structure is like the shape of a diamond or like yeah. a triangle or something like that. And there's two, um, it's two stories. Um, and the top story is just like a roof basically. And you'll yeah. see it in the video. Um, and the bottom story is a bunch of rooms um, like there was where all the commanders and generals slept. There was the infirmary, the mess hall. Um, there was where all the cannons were, um, where they held prisoners, which was really cool. You guys will see it in the video. Hold on, let me show them. This is where they kept some of the prisoners for dark confinement. This is how dark it was. Yeah, you can't even see anything. That is insane. Um, but yeah, it was super cool. It was just really massive and I have never been to, um, something that looks like it had like really like stood the test of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like the battle had like just happened and then nothing was like guarded off and you couldn't walk on things and nothing was like artificial flooring. Like they had just done a really good job of keeping everything nice. But anyways, um, here's the fort. Hope you guys enjoy.
Jeez, what am I doing? So the Why commander of this fort was 25 years old. That's crazy. Oh, shoot, that's why. One. The only surviving originals from the Civil War period. That's really cool. Image, courtesy of National Museum of Civil War Medicine. Oh, we, we wanted to go. Yes. This was the infirmary. for watching our video. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video this week, guys. We hope y'all enjoyed it. Again, sorry it was so windy, but we hope you enjoyed it anyways. Um, tune in next week. We're going to be going to a different state, um, a state that we've never been to before. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see y'all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye, everyone.